Okay. Okay. Look, I'll, I'll show you one more time. You click here, and you're displaying the interview room cameras. Uh, so can't hear anything because you have to click this to hear interview one. and the screaming, she said, yes, she is this Pappas woman's assistant, and yes, she worked on the guy's show. Oh. And she also drives a company BMW black. Hello, afternoon, people. Well, this special agent Howard. So, uh, what can you tell us about our victim? Uh, two years ago, the FBI began investigating Mark Bernstein's company intriguing endeavors because of questionable release forms he and his brother obtained from the women featured in his web videos. Two of the girls were underage, several were too drunk to know what they were doing. Part of Intrigue's deal in making this new television show was stopping all of that. So it was legit, as far as we can tell. But with Mark Bernstein gone, all cash coming in goes to the surviving brother, yes. Chief, the biggest computer, I think it could tell us a lot that someone had a boot password blocking access his real name is Jonathan Fair. He's age 36. He's got no criminal record, no financial connections to the Bernstein. Uh, he's worked for a variety of security companies over the past two years, fired each time for doing his job a little too well. He took the LAPD Academy entrance exam twice, scored extremely high, but was never admitted due to psychological issues. There's a shock. Now, about his witness statements. The good news is his handwriting is impeccable. The bad news is everything's written in this bizarre code. I think only he can decipher it. Oh. Uh, thank you. You can Oh, finally. You know, I feel incredibly underappreciated right now. Are we really going to sit here and debate my identity, or are we going to arrest a killer? You know, if we don't catch him in the first 48 hours, our chances of success go down dramatically. We are losing time, people! We're not losing any time. You have all the time in the world. Show me one good reason why I shouldn't arrest you for murder. Uh, okay, uh, how about this? I didn't do it! And by the way, while I'm on duty, could you please refer to me as detective? You know, if you spent a little more time investigating, and just a little less time arresting federal officers, you would know by now that the killer drives a black BMW, whereas we all drive Crown Vic. Why were you at the crime scene in the first place? Uh, well, I, I guess I saw some black and whites there, and I thought, why don't I show a little bit of initiative? Now, i got to tell you, Chief Pope was a lot more impressed with me than you are. You're on page 17 of my official report. You're not writing an official report. No, I'm not, am I? That's because I'm handcuffed in this chair. I am not going to let the two of you blow this investigation. I am way farther along on this than you are. You want to know why? Because I move like lightning. I turn on a dime. I fly like the wind. Did you see how fast I served that search warrant? That's yes, because we actually have to get a judge to find them. And tell me this. The woman that our victim was seen with last night, does she or does she not drive a black BMW just like our killer? Yes or no? Second, well, you don't get to ask questions around you. Uh, you see this Yes. <coughs> oh. Just, okay. <laughs> okay, dear. Mm -hmm. you turn on the dial? You move like that and you slow Do you actually have a theory? About this crime? Chief. Look, listen. This man has been places we have not and done things we cannot do, including interviewing witnesses. Maybe you could bring us up to see you. How about it? Thank you.